hello everyone welcome back to our channel easy explanation in this video tutorial we will be learning about c program to concatenate two string without using the built-in function strcat so we'll be writing our own custom function to concatenate the two string so before writing the custom function let us understand how the built-in function works and we'll be writing a custom function with the same functionality as strcat function so strcat function takes two argument one is the destination string and another is a source string and it concatenates the source string and destination string and the result is stored in the destination string so let us write one program based on the built-in function to concatenate the string first so as include stdio.h include string dot h then int main let us say we have one string s of 100 and another string destination string as a d of 100 so print f last the user enter source string so gets s then printf into destination string and then gets d call the function strcat CAT with D and S and since the result will be stored in a string D let us print the concatenated result slash a, the entire string is percentage S slash N D and finally write return 0 return 0 statement we will run this code so let us say the source string is world and the destination string is hello you can see the concatenated string is hello world now we will be writing our own custom function in order to achieve this functionality the same functionality so for that I will be creating one more C file C source file So I will be saving this file as custom strcat dot c. So I will be creating on function called as str x str cat to concat to strings. So as include stdio dot h and then I'll be writing int main since we need the same concept here so I'll be copying this code and pasting it here control now once we have read the source string and destination string we will be calling our own custom function x str cat with d and s as argument so here what we are doing is we are passing the base address of d and base address of s so passing base address of s and d now we are calling the function xstrcat with the destination string d base address and source string s base address and finally we writing return 0 now let us define this function so i will write void xstrcat and then char star des and then char star 
yes rc since we are sending the address as argument as actual argument we will be using pointer in order to store the address sent so that is the reason why we have used pointer character pointer as a formal argument now once we have defined this now let us understand the logic how to concatenate the source string into destination string and finally store the result into destination string let's say we have two string one is a string d we have one string d another string s let us say d is string is a b and string s is c d so what we have to achieve a b c d so this is the result we are trying to achieve so d and s so it will be like a b and slash zero and then we'll have here for s c d and finally slash zero now we have to copy the content of source string into destination string we have to copy the content so we have to find a way to reach up to slash zero symbol for that what we can do is we have to we need one uh, loop so while star d is not equals to slash zero what i'll do is we'll increment the address so once we reach at this point we'll terminate the loop and start copying the content of the first index content into the position of slash zero second index content into next position until we reach the slash zero so once we reach the slash zero we need to stop the copying for that what we can do is while star s is not equals to slash zero what we have to do we have to copy the content into this string d so star d will be equals to star s and then finally we have to do s plus plus and again d plus plus so it will copy c into position of slash zero so it will like this and again d so once we reach slash zero then we have to stop this loop now you can see this is just a character array right now in order to make it as a string we have to input slash zero at the end so once the loop is terminated what we have to do is we have to write star d is equals to slash zero so in this way it will append slash zero and the string will terminate in this way we can achieve the functionality of custom strcat also so now let us, based on this concept let us write the logic for that so we have while star des is not equals to slash zero what we have to do is des plus plus now once we reach the last position of the given string des or when our pointer is at des a slash zero location then we have to, what we have to do is we have to start copying the first index content into the location of slash zero of des string so again we will be writing one more loop so while dot src is not equals to slash zero what you have to do we have to write we have to copy the content star des equals to star src and then every time we have to increment des plus plus and src plus plus so once once the content of a string src is copied into the 
des string we have to terminate the string by slash zero symbol so finally we have to write star des equals to slash zero then once this is done then you can print the concatenated string here so print f and you can simply write here D so this is the code now let us just compile this code and see if there is any error in the code first so check for the errors so obviously there is error here I have missed one semicolon so write the semicolon there again compile the code okay now it is successful i'll write the source string as world and destination string as hello now you can see the concatenated string is hello world so this is what we are trying to achieve by writing our own custom str cat function now i will test for another set of input the source string is suppose cd and destination string is ab now you can see the concatenated string is ab and cd so in this way we can concatenate the string by using our own custom strcat function okay so if you have any queries regarding this concept please mention in the comment section and if you do not have the basic concept of a string array and other programming concept programming concept then we have provided the video tutorial link in the description section below so please go through that and please like share and subscribe our channel for more videos and updates thank you for listening everyone